Today we're going to learn how to build this beautiful modern outdoor sectional. Jim, take us through the features of this project. Well, it's very adaptable. Mm -hmm. We start with the 24 by 24 cushions from a uh, big box retailer. You can get tons of these things online, any size. That kind of determines what it's going to look like. You can easily remove one cushion, shorten it up, do all that. Another thing is it's got the uh, modern chunky ends. Great for putting a bottle of wine or a glass on, right. something okay. like that. It's almost uh, like a built-in side tables. It is, it yeah. is. Another thing is it's um, it's quite lightweight, so three people can easily move this thing around. It, we For transport, five screws take it apart, so it's easy to throw in a truck and move around if you want to. Um, we fastened it together because we want to avoid the pitfall of a lot of these furnitures where they're, they move apart and they start Hug. floating all around yeah, exactly, your deck. Yeah, yeah. this maintains yes, all the nice clean, clean lines. Clean line, yeah. I love it. But and of course, we're using Western Red Cedar for this project because it's naturally resistant to rot, decay, and insects, making it ideal for all outdoor projects. And let's face it, nothing looks, smells, or feels quite like Western Red Cedar. Absolutely. Let's get started. So Jim, what's the first step? First step is to acquire the material and cut it all to its various lengths. This is all standard dimension material, so that makes it quite easy. This, for instance, is a two by six, available anywhere. We use miles and miles of this for decking. Um, I was on one the other day that we built 30 years ago, and it still looks great, which speaks a lot to the durability of this product. It sure does. And for this project, we're gonna use a beautiful, knotty grade of Western Red Cedar, which is really gonna add a lot of warmth and texture to the project. Plus, it's a cost-effective choice. Totally. All right, let's get started on the frame. Can't wait. So it's really starting to come along beautifully. We've got the frame all built. Jim, any pro tips? Yeah, just a couple. Um, one is, this is the point where you start to think about how you're gonna pull it apart when you wanna move it. So we've, I've marked, we put, put it together with five screws. They're marked with circles so that somebody coming along later will know which ones to remove. Um, also, we've shimmed at level, because the floor in here is not level, so that when we build it, it'll, um, it'll remain true, and when it moves to its new home on a level deck, it won't rock. And in terms of fasteners, what are we using for this project? We're using three inch number eight stainless steel wood screws. And we do that because they stand up well to the elements and won't rust out. Good to know. And for more detailed instructions, you can go to realcedar.com for free downloadable building plans. So the backrest frames are all installed and it's very sturdy, yet the wood is surprisingly lightweight. Yeah, well that's what cedar's all about. Lightweight, strong, easy to work with, and that's why carpenters love it. So what's the next step? Next step is to install the slats the cushions will sit on. They'll be uh, installed in two removable panels for ease of transport and storage. Great. and you just slide it in there. Great design, Jim. Thank you. And another great thing about this project is just how green it is. In fact, using wood such as Western Red Cedar leaves the smallest carbon footprint than any other building material. So it's a choice you can feel good about. That's right. And what's the last step? Last step is to clad the back of the seat here, um, or let's call it the front of the seat. 
We could also clad the back if it was gonna show. This one's gonna tuck into an area and it's not gonna show, but you do have that option. Great, looking forward to seeing the finished product. Well, it looks amazing. Another great job, Jim. Well, thank you. And I love the tonal range of the Western Red Cedar here. You know what? We're just going to let this weather naturally, eventually turning to a beautiful silvery patina. But it's good to know that Western Red Cedar is actually pitch and resin free, which means it accepts and holds a wide range of finishes beautifully. Perfect. All we need is a bunch of throw cushions, a couple bottles of wine, and we're off to the races. I like the sound of that. Perfect. Perfect.